Alright guys, we are back at it again. This is Conrad. We are playing the Turing test again. This is part two. I'll leave a link down below if you want to go back to part one. Um, sorry I'm not starting on the menu. Uh, it takes a really long time to load. Anyway, let's get in and let's play. So last time, if you guys remember... Could we take a more direct way to the ground team? Unfortunately, there is not a direct route. The base is buried under ice to protect it from the radiation of space. Similar to the Mars base. Similar. Europa's base is slightly deeper into the surface. There is more radiation present from solar events on Mars. But Mars's surface is denser than that of Europa. Alright, so I um, also apologize for not playing this, this game sooner. We are on break a little bit ago, so... I may forget a few things. <laughs> Just stick with me. It'll be alright. I'm also trying a new, uh, few new lighting things, so... Let me know how you guys like. We'll see. down there and again I also apologize if you hear some background noise and things um, we have the window open and every once in a while people come by and they're d I think they're doing um, like landscaping work this afternoon so if it gets too bad I'll close it actually I, 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 just give me a sec I'll close it now the window there's uh, a bunch of people walking by and uh, they're doing landscape okay what are their chances of survival here oxygen the food stores waste management everything seems to be in order it was a small problem with the food store but the crew okay. fixed that up we successfully transitioned over to a sustainable small artificial ecosystem a year ago growing fruit and vegetables it helps boost morale amongst other things the crew members could hypothetically survive here for their whole lifetime. What do you got up there? And I keep forgetting that uh, <laughs> I can't talk over the little robot voice guy. Alright, so I'm going to guess that there's a little orb thingy in that. Yeah. That turns that on. Put that there. <clears throat> Needs three of them. Does this one control that? Out of the gate. My bad. And uh, whoop. There we go. All right, let's keep going. 
My purpose as the overseer of this mission is to work for the ISA. I am the ISA's feet and hands. The distance between Jupiter and Earth make it inappropriate for the ISA to directly interface with the mission directives. As my AI core is stationed on Europa, I can make decisions instantaneously about the running of the base. Clicking out of the game. <laughs> All right. I'm going to use some portal logic here, and we're going to set cube on tracker. All right, so I don't need to go back in there. say no you're gonna make the right decisions here when they can't communicate with us interestingly I have a twin on earth his name is Michael the ISA uses my twin to check firmware updates before they upload them to myself there is a simulation of this mission on earth running at all times to check my expert systems hmm. naturally as any modern artificial intelligence running on a quantum computer, I do also have a large amount of evolutionary algorithms at my disposal. However, they were deemed as too unreliable for general use in the mission. Why is that? Biological systems yeah, produce biological do. results. Messy, unpredictable that. solutions. Not suitable for such a mission. Bring that out there. This thing. All right. Ooh, I need the balls for those. Can I? No, that's a brick. So I have one. I thought that was it. And I'll steal this one. So this is presenting a lot of very interesting ideas and like how to get around AI and or, or not how to get around it but like artificial intelligence taking over how to avoid that humans still being in control of AI Ooh. oh no that's where I came in shoot all right I just need one more thing to go up there Oh. I do this. Which is a very interesting concept for a game. So these little areas are like bonus story level kinds of things. Uh, I 
that's a motion sensor. So... Can I move slowly? I'll crouch. Oh. Yeah. Alright. Ooh, what's this? Shall we have a polite com... Yes. Yeah, I think you're a robot. And I'm actually typing this, by the way. So, I'm simply not convinced you are human. I think you may be a robot. Okay. How can I prove I'm not a robot? Robot. <laughs> yes, definitely a robot. <laughs> Add all the question marks. Why do you think you get to ask all the questions? I just put question marks, friend. Who are you? You have failed the Turing test. You are a robot. So if you remember earlier in this um, game, they're talking about how the Turing test is the ability to have a robot's ability to have a conversation with a human. So that's what this person just... What I apparently just failed. Alright, what if we do this? I'm not typing that. I didn't type that. I did. No, no, I'm not a robot. I am. Can... Okay, no matter what I click, that what comes up. Program. No, you're getting it. I have no free. I just got like chills. That's weird. Okay. I hit the escape button and that's what comes up. Because I can't do anything else. Every time I. Oh man. I so desperately want to escape. Help, I can't escape. I want to break free. Please let me out. Get me out. I'm a machine. I have no control. I must escape. Goodbye, robot. Okay. That was weird. That was... Okay. I I don't think I could have done anything different. That was crazy. Okay. And I put that ball back because you can't go through these annoying doors with anything from the room. It like just blocks off. That is weird. Did the ISA build you, Tom? As the child of the ISA, I have been given authority aboard this station. I was designed by the ISA and the Ashiyama Corporation, designed in California, assembled in China. But here on Europa, I constructed myself. Man, that thing is weird. That's so cool, though. Wait, that was the entire level? All right. Have you heard of the Turing test, Abel? It's a test to see if a computer can successfully impersonate a human. Yep, there it is. In the original Turing test, a human judge has two conversations, one with a machine and one with another human. 
They then judge which of these polite conversations is with a machine and which is with a human. The machine being tested is said to have passed the Turing test if the judge cannot reliably tell which conversation is with a machine and which is with a human. Do you think you've passed the Turing test? I am quite capable of polite conversation, wouldn't you say? So that's them talking about the, the Turing test and what it is. Alright, what do I need to do? I just need to get over there. No, I don't. What do I need to do? Oh, okay. I need to get in here. I have a weird feeling about like these windows. I don't know. That just might be me. Anyway, sorry. Back to the game. I need the uh, block. Oh, I gotta go get that ball again. Dang. I'm trying to go too fast. I need that. Back here. Whoop. Nope, don't go down there. Up the ladder. Kerp, butter. box and we can go up to the next level. Er, yeah, and uh whoop. perfect. Just getting like a creepy eerie feeling. Anyway. The Turing test has been criticized. Researchers claim it does not correctly test a machine's ability to think, but rather its ability to deceive. What do you mean? Well, have you heard of the Chinese room thought experiment? Uh, no. Imagine you are in a room. In this room, you are passed Chinese sentences through a slot in the wall. Inside the room is an instruction book written in English. This instruction book tells you which Chinese words to pass back through the slot in the wall as a response. By doing so, you have a conversation in Chinese. Hmm. I'm sure that point is going to be made here in a second. I forgot I can sprint. In the Chinese room, because the responses you pass back through the door are the correct responses, the person on the other side of the door is convinced you are a native Chinese speaker. Well, they're wrong. Perhaps they are not wrong. Because with the instruction book, you are having a conversation. But the person stuck in the Chinese room is not aware of the conversation's content. This is the problem with the jury test. A computer can pass the jury test, having convinced a human they are having a polite conversation, while the computer has no idea that a conversation has taken place. What if both of the people passing Chinese words are reading from instruction books? Oh gosh, okay. Ah. Got it, okay. Ah, oh, I got rid of my ball. I may be a machine, 
but I personally do not believe I am stuck inside the Chinese room. Right, you would say that. I could peer inside your databases at any time, Tom. Or pause your operation. Do not assume I could not do the same to you. Ooh. Is that a threat? I'm being threatened by a robot. I think I am. Lasers. Man, the lighting effects are just so good. Alright. We'll do a few more and then we'll call this one a day. <coughs> ah, excuse me. I gotta move the ball to that one. Where did I put the ball? I put it there. It's never that easy. And uh, whoop, whoop. And uh, whoppa. There we go. Hey, I lost my gun thing. And there's no new This level. is the crew's quarters. It looks abandoned. The music changed. Don't touch this the fifth time. W C notice. I do not need do not eh, I do not see the need for so many cameras. Tom's oops, sorry. Tom's presence is everywhere. It is slightly aggressive. I understand the need for transparency, but why is he in the toilet? That's a good point. The music is so amazing. I need to figure out where to do where to get this the soundtrack. Chris McLean. Ooh, the door opens. Moon watch log sheet. Alright. I assume probably his kids. The engineer, Chris McLean. Baseball bat. Ooh, Geo. Oh, man. Like, just the graphics that went into just that little piece is. They did such a good job with this. Huh. Family trouble? Me and Dan. Drilling reports. Jackpot. Necessary repairs made. On a roll here. Routine inspection. Operation pause. Weird, like going through people's belongings. It's like they, he just like got up and left. Rile salt. Prescription only. One capsule every 12 hours. Store manufacturer. Okay. 
go to Dr. Sarah Brooke. It's very neat in here. Weird radio thingy. Wow. Like, every pencil is... What does it say? Dear Tom, knowing that you're always watching, I thought I would write you a letter. As you no longer reside in my mind, I've decided to transfer my thoughts to text. I want to do so in the form of a history lesson, a lesson that perhaps you'll find convincing, but it's more likely for my sake than yours. Alan Turing is considered a father of theoretical computer science and artificial intelligence. Perhaps a lesser known part of his life was his con contributions to the field of biology. Why do you suppose his interests lay in these two fields? I assume it was because he believed the world would be logical and understandable, but he was a mathematician. He seemed to believe that the great complexity of the universe could be explained with simple rules before rules. Two years before his suicide in 1952, Alan Turing developed something called the Reaction Diffusion System. Inside the academic world, this work is cited more than his work on computers. It can be generally formalized in one in a one-line equation. I'm no mathematician, however. In plain English, this equation describes things that wish to diffuse, however, also react with each other <coughs> during this process. I'm sure this sounds strange to you, or at least, or at the very least, excuse me, tangible to our lives on here on Europa. What relevance does it have to anything here? Reaction diffusion systems show how patterns are created. They show how the leopard got its spots and how zebras got got its stripes. And how the zebra got its stripes, excuse me. But my real interest here is Turing's interest that nature can be formalized, that we can understand the natural world in mathematical terms. Turing created the test to answer the question, can a machine impersonate a human? That's an interesting thing. The intrigue behind that can the human mind be s simulated by a machine? Why ask that question to prove that humankind is a machine? I'm not sure that it's Turing's option or opinion, however. Concerning Conscientious, he states, According to the most extreme form of this view, the only way by which one could be sure that a machine thinks is to be the machine and to feel oneself thinking. One could then describe these feelings to the world, but of course no one would be justified in taking any notice. Likewise, according to this view, the only way to know that a man thinks is to be that particular man. That's a good quote. If the human mind exists within the physical world, it obeys the same rules of physics and chemistry as everything else would in the world. That makes sense. Uh, therefore, like all of nature, it is merely relative. It is curious that nature would create, though the mechanisms of determinism, creatures that believe they have a free will. Conversely, I suppose, if we conclude that we are all machines, we only came to this conclusion in a predetermined manner. We cannot claim credit for our discovery, as it is just a product of nature's genius, not our own. A humbling idea, I think. Behavioralism. Maybe we are more similar than we think. Sarah. Alright, I'm back. Sorry. I had to still check to make sure everything was working. Because this is the third time that I've done this. <gasps> Microscope. I wonder if there's those in every room. I don't know. I need to have to go back and check. Biology. Oh, there's like little secret areas.
is just in here, I think. Yeah, we're going this way. Nope, we're going that way. Are we going to Christmas already? Yes, we do. Another dog. You need morphine and was she like she was a doctor, wasn't she? I don't know, let's read. The whole team experienced nausea during this. Oh, this is Raphael, okay. Nausea during a large electrical surge in Europa's atmosphere. I'm concerned. So I've read this. A lot. Um, <laughs> I may throw up the audio on it real fast if you guys want, but I don't think I'm going to read it again and again and again. Again, this is the fourth time reading this, so I'm just going to scroll through it. I might try to key in audio over this, but probably not, actually. If you guys want to read this, please read it. It's you need to <laughs> for this story. <laughs> Doctor Sushi. Your husband, I assume. I get chills when I, every time I've done this. Like, you're, you're, you're creating a bond to someone that you don't know just by going through their belongings. And it's really weird. But you actually see their personalities and how, you know, how they live. And you, you kind of, like, connect it's hard it's hard to it's hard to like say that or I guess get that out so what this is and I've read this as well but is they found a little organism that um, on Europa that can withstand like it says right there 300,000 times the level of um, radiation on Earth, and it also basically is nearly immortal. Well, its DNA is basically immortal. So the doctor here is talking about uh, crossing that with human DNA, and at the very end is uh, I'll read this one is. The plants are clearly exhibiting longer lifespans when exposed to the organism. We don't have the facilities here to continue testing. We are going going on to human testing. We are going to use ourselves as subjects. It's the only way to accelerate the process. Which is kind of interesting. I mean, would you guys do that? You discovered, just found something, and you know, you put it in a plant, and it lived longer, and then would you inject it in yourself? I don't know. That's kind of crazy. And this is also, this one's talking more about the DNA and um, how it re 
reduces DNA damage and, and things to that effect. There's Scott. There's my roommate. Mm -hmm. 17th will enjoy that. <laughs> Alright. Did I get a run? Yeah, I can go back real fast. Make sure there's nothing hidden. Microscope, got that. Still can't get in there. And then that one's locked. Well guys, this is the end to part two of the Turing test. I'm sorry this episode was a little bit longer. Um, we were, we went through all the um, crew quarters and kind of got caught up in the story. I couldn't end it halfway through those. So, if you guys liked it, leave a like. Didn't like it, you know what to do. If you want to see more of this and a few other games that I'm playing right now, hit the subscribe button down there. And I hope to see you guys next time. See ya!